Black Dog Institute decided to release this paper in Mental Health Week because we recognise that the problem of suicide in Australia is still immense and the rate has not really changed and we've got to do something to bend the curve. I would say that in the last decade, we've really made strides in suicide prevention in understanding how better to do it. And Australia has adopted uh, multiple site uh, intervention systems approaches, which I think are making a difference to suicide rates in Australia and should be continued. In the last five years or so, I think there's been some massive changes that we now need to incorporate into that model. The first is understanding new models of care. And these models of care have directly come from people with lived experience. We haven't been doing crisis care very well. Many people experience long waiting lists and do not get followed up. So new models of care are required and consumers have come through with a large number of different sorts of safe havens or community respite areas for people with lived experience. We need very much to evaluate these and provide scientific support for them. So that's changed. I think we really need to recognise that there are new models of care that we have to investigate. We have also know now that the social determinants of health are extremely important, and that requires that governments change policies or examine policies for the impact they may have on suicide. And we make some suggestions about how that might be done. We're also aware that government spends a lot of money and other people spend a lot of money on suicide prevention awareness programs. Our view is that these may not be the best spend, that really if you're going to put out a suicide prevention awareness program, you should be accountable and you should be able to show that it actually reduces deaths, suicide attempts or suicide ideation. This hasn't been the case should also make sure that there are places that people can go with the call to action, if you like, uh, and if they go and don't find anywhere that they can get help, then really that has not, that's been pretty negative experience for them. So I think su suicide prevention programs really need to have a bit more of um, the lens put on them in terms of what they are trying to achieve and how effective they are. And finally, we've looked at innovations. What are the new directions in suicide prevention? And to answer this question, we've uh, surveyed people within Australia, but also internationally to find out where they think the next new directions are in the science of suicide prevention.